Hey guys, it is Friday here in West Virginia, so it's time for us to do our free at Friday. Today we're doing a little bit shorter video than usual because we just did one yesterday on those M2 Coca-Cola cars. And then I have another one in store for you guys tomorrow, which is going to be a really cool video. It's a look at every variant of the Hot Wheels 65 Dodge Coronet alter will base to date with also a sneak peek look at the melon uh that's coming up i don't have the actual car but i have pictures of it we'll show you and things like that and go over some details about it but today we are going to crack one open for you guys and it is the latest m2 ground pounders moon eyes el camino this is from the latest set of ground pounders uh, I actually had picked this up for a friend of mine, but he had already got it for himself. So this is another one that I'm either going to return to Walmart or just let it go for almost retail. If somebody needs one, let me know. Eight bucks plus the ride, you can have it. Um, because I have to pay, I think it's a little over seven. And then I buy the box to put them in. So yeah, I'll have a, like eight bucks in it. So if anybody needs it, let me know. I know there's a lot of Moon Eyes collectors out there. That's why, I, well, that's what my friend collects is Moon Eyes stuff. And that's pretty much the only cool one of that set. I don't mind the Ground Pounders. They actually have a 58 Plymouth or 57 Plymouth Ground Pounder in this lineup that almost looks like Christine, but it's got flames on it. I would have bought that for myself if it didn't have the flames. I would still like to pick up that old release of the... One that looks like Christine, the red with the white top. It's like one of the first issued ground pounders, but it's really cool. So anyways, we're going to get this guy out of the box and look at it, but the box is really sweet. So whoever is collecting these, I would probably leave it in the box. That's why I leave my Dodge trucks in their boxes because they look so cool. I always take them out to look at them, but I always put them back in these boxes because M2's boxes are starting to look pretty sweet. So you can see your J-hook hanging tab has the moon equipped eyes on it, ground pounders, and then it tells you the production, 7,000 pieces worldwide. I guess there is no chase variant of this one. And then... You have the moon equipped eyes in white in the background behind the car. It looks really cool. It's like this down here. The moon eyes with the white, the yellow. 14 years and older. Go with moon. Moon eyes on the side with the little window so you can see the front of the iconic 70 Chevelle El Camino front end. And then the little cutout for the window for the back of the El Camino. And then on the back side, you have the Moon Equipped Eyes, your M2 logo, and Moon Eyes across the back. So, these are now taped on the bottom, as I pointed out in other videos. So, what I do, I just take my knife and put down there and just cut it. Because it doesn't hurt anything, because you have these round stickers. And, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, if you just peel it up just a little bit on the edge, grab a hold of it and just pull pulls right off and pulls the tab right out for you. You're not going to rip the box on a brand new release. If it's an old release from 10 years ago because of the adhesive, like getting tacky, sticky, hot, cold weather, it may do some damage. But even then, I don't think so because these boxes that M2 have are high quality. They're high gloss cardboard and they're made well. They're not cheap packaging, so it looks... Like, it's pretty heavy duty. It won't tear them. So, anyways, let's get him out. And, as you can see, as always, they're in the really cool acrylic cube. Well, it's more like a rectangle. I don't know if i call this a cube or not. But, anyways, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. These have no opening parts as far no they do have an opening hood it's been a long time since i opened a ground pounder so very cool does have an opening hood as you can see it's probably got the 454 ls6 450 horse down in there maybe the plate just says 1970 so cool it is the opening hood i did not remember that <clears throat> Excuse me. I forgot that M2 quit doing the props on their hoods to have them open in the cases. 
they just now close everything. So I forgot that the ground pounder is open. Pretty sweet. Um, and the lines are very good because it didn't even look like it opened. Uh, the glass is heavily tinted because the ground pounders do not have interiors for the most part. Maybe all of them. But I know most of the new ones do not have any interior. These have, or this has the extra large Chevy Rally rims, which look really cool. And a little bit deeper in the back with a Pro Street style tire. tire. Some huge exhaust tips with some cutouts in the rear bumper. Your SS on the tailgate. Nice detailed tail lights, even your tailgate handle. Nice detail on the bed and the wheel tubs. And the cool with the moon eyes, that's pretty sweet. That's logo or that word's on a lot of their releases and it's always cool to find it. It's so cool in the back window. Very sweet. So, I'm not going to unscrew it from the base because it's really nothing spectacular to look at. Um, I think these are plastic bases. Nah, actually, we still have time. If I can find a screwdriver, yeah, I did. So, we'll go ahead and pop him off the base. Why not? We got a few minutes here. We haven't ran that long. We're only at six and a half minutes. So, yeah, we can go ahead and take him off the base for you guys. And take a look at the base of one of these because I haven't seen a ground pounder out of the box in God knows how long. That's why I was shocked when I seen the hood open. I forgot the hoods opened on these. Um, because a lot of times they had the big superchargers and stuff sticking out of the hood, and you don't really even care if the hood opens because the blower is sticking out of the hood and such. So that's really all you want to see. Yeah. As I said, it's nothing spectacular to look at on the bottom. It is a metal base, however. So, cool. And then it does... Yeah, they roll pretty nice. I don't really remember the last time I rolled a ground pounder on the ground. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty sweet to have him out of the box. It looks pretty cool. If it was a Mopar, I'd probably keep it. But since it's a Chevy, love Chevys, don't get me wrong. But it's just not my cup of tea. If it was a drag car Chevy, yeah, I would keep it. But... It's a ground pounder, so it's got to go. So if you need it or anybody you know needs it, eight bucks plus a ride and it's yours. So be sure to tune back in, guys. On Monday, we'll be doing our Mopar Monday video as usual. And we'll have something cool. Not sure what we're going to do yet. I have a lot of new stuff, old stuff. So we'll look at something come Monday. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday.